Hi, this is Terrell from Trailer Chicks and I'm gonna go over a few more tips with you today. I'm gonna go over how you stabilize your trailer. Stabilizing your trailer eliminates motion as you walk around. So since I'm gonna be on the concrete, one of the favorite things that I'd like to have packed with me are knee pads or something with a little bit of extra support and this little coverall set I have actually has knee pads included, which is really handy when you're gonna be on the ground for a little bit. So don't mind me while I get ready. So, ta-da, I am ready. So, like I said, we're gonna be looking at the stabilization. So the first thing when you park your Airstream, there's usually a checklist that I go through of things that I need to do to set up camp. And this is one of them. You have a tool that I store on the outside because I use it on the outside of my trailer, but you can store it with all your tools. If you misplace your tool, you can easily use a three quarter inch socket. Lock it up. Basic tool, you wanna hold it like this. There's also a fitting at the end that you put over your stabilizer and you just start spinning. And as you watch underneath, you can see the stabilizer comes down. It looks like a silver plate on a stick. And you just twist. The one thing you wanna be careful of is as it gets to the Point where it's getting close to touching the ground and this is easy to see because I'm on a concrete pad but you want to watch and you just barely you want to make sure that it touches but then you don't want to give it a couple of extra cranks to make sure it's really in there you just want it to be resting on the ground and as soon as it's resting then you're done with the stabilizing point point. Now there's four of these there are two in the back and there's two in the front that you'll want to be sure you have down as you're setting up your camp the same thing when you leave, it's really important that you pull them back up because since they hang down, if you go over any bumps, they'll get knocked off and damaged. So again, to pull them up, put the handle on and just do it backwards. When you think it's up, I would just go ahead and get down underneath and just make sure that it's as far up as it can go and then you know you're done. And like that, I can take it off my list. Remember, proper maintenance and care will keep you and your Airstream happy for years to come. Find more tips on Airstream.com or visit your local Airstream dealer.